Uncalled for, and we shall only hope that there's no nails sticking out in the ring. <laughs> We're good. All right. Welcome to our special Fourth of July show. I am Rush, former WMWA Heavyweight Champion. I'll join alongside Taylor Maid, yes. former member of Next at Kin. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about the abrupt ending to your uh, faction this last show? Well, like they always say, all good things must come to an end, and you know, just. We just couldn't agree on anything. Aaron's too Aaron, busy uh, having sex with the exactly. title. Exactly. Aaron D Douglas was too busy having sex with an inanimate, inanimate object. And, you know, well, I, mean, I guess that was our downfall. Hey, man, we all love that damn title. That's for, uh, you know, that's for sure. But I don't think I ever wanted to, you know, hook up with it. So. What do you, uh, speaking of Fourth of July show, like, what is this called? Like, I've heard a few ideas thrown out. Oh. oh. Nice kick. Well, it's a good question. But. Money. Uh, idea. We'll figure it out a little later. You know, we like to do things on the fly here, of but course. just to let you guys know, this at home, this is a six-pack challenge qualifying matchup, mm -hmm. and uh, Backyard looks to get in that six-pack challenge, a match he's never been in, and obviously Ace has never been in here, because in, in the year he's been here, we've never had a six-pack challenge. Ace. Good job. Uh, he's been showing us a Ace, lot of stuff lately. Ace has been a lot better uh, as of late when, next to, when Aaron and the rest of you next to Ken guys we're uh, put, on the verge of breaking up. Yeah, well, putting him. Oh, damn. Nice. Impressive. Right there. He's you never tell if, if Backyard's like happy. I mean, he, he, like, <laughs> it sounds like he's coughing up a lung, but he's enjoying no, it. He's actually enjoying it, yeah. Let's yeah. put that in a joint. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice leg drop by Ace. Into a cover. Yeah, well, Ace was given an ultimatum maybe about a month ago yeah. that if he didn't beat the uh -oh. Bouncer in Bouncer's match, the Falls Count Anywhere, that uh, he'd be out of the out of the group. And he put on one of his best efforts and won the match. So um, Ace has been able to get a few wins here and there. He did defeat Anarchy with a little help from Douglas, but still, I mean, n nobody looks at the record books five years from now and sees that they got help. So it's all about the W. Damn. Legged up to the bicep right there. Back there, getting to his mat game. That guy has that patented nipple, nipple twist right there. It looks really annoying. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> I, I think that's the best perk of being his teammate. I never have to deal with that. I've never had to deal with that either, surprisingly. Uh, I try to keep away from that. I, I've, I've understand, I've heard that it's not that good mm. to deal with. So it looks like something I'd rather deal with though than um, Humberto ripping your leg off though, honestly. Yeah, well, speak, yeah, definitely. That sucks. I just call that that fucking sucks. Yeah. Humberto did qualify for the six pack challenge last show by feeding Angel Dust. And so far, we know Humberto and Aaron Douglas, assuming Aaron Douglas can hold on to that heavyweight title, will be in the six pack challenge. And one of these two men will be as well. And we also got Bouncer versus Dawson a little later on, and that will also be a six pack qualifying no, matchup. So by the end of the show, we will know at least four of the people in the match. Right. And in the coming weeks, we'll get the last two going on. Maybe right. maybe we'll have more today. I don't know. You never know what happens in WWE. Yeah, never know. We are at our 88th show and we are getting closer to the 100th show as the days go on and which is easily going to be the biggest show of all time. That's just dirty back here. Come on, man. But then again, I mean, Ace has been involved in so many jumpings and beatings and beatdowns all year. I mean, uh, and I'm sure, I know Backyard for a fact has been caught on the wrong side of that a few times. Definitely. Backyard was the heavyweight champion up until uh, last Supercard where he, he did lose the title at was, point blank. Was that one of the shortest reigns? Uh, oh, nice it was, slam. but it's never going to... Power slam by Backyard. Very nice. nice. Right it's Top never it's never going to be as short as the, the snake title reign where he only oh. held the belt for 20 minutes. Tw how? 
Yeah, you're gonna, gonna have to go back and watch some shows. You're gonna have to go back, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, two shows. I mean, he did hold it through two shows, which is a pretty short reign, but. Um, you, you could never question the fact that Becker won the title and that he finally got over the hump and, and became heavyweight champion. Stiff rights to the gut by backyard. Come on, Ace, fight back! Backyard was in the. Oh, nice, huge DDT. Nice DDT. Only a two. Backyard, um. He was in the first ever WWE matchup mm -hmm. with myself, and uh, he's been here ever since. So uh, I know the hundred show means Old a lot school. to him. Old and, uh, he he's on one of the few announced matches. He's supposed to be wrestling Anarchy in a casket match. Uh, I, I, we have not seen Anarchy since the triple threat match where Backyard lost the title. Bridge for all all oh. two. That was a long two count. Backyard needs to Brad, what hustle, the hell? hustle up. I honestly thought it was over. Yeah, Ace, Ace Armani would have been. Uh, well, I mean, you gotta you gotta remember what you're you're signing up here for. Obviously, you want to win every match you go into, but you, this is not just a regular match you're getting into. The six pack challenge is extremely brutal. The matches last at least a half an hour. It's impossible for it to last under 20 minutes because second one. Two people start, and every five minutes, uh, the next four people will come out. So, at the 20 minute marker, you will have all six competitors make their entrance. And uh, I've been in two of those matches, Taylor. I gotta tell you, man, they're not, they're not, they're not pleasant at all. Not pleasant? No. They don't sound too pleasant. No, Honestly. they get, they get to be pretty brutal, and uh, uh, the alliances get made. Team people start teaming up. That's how Big C won his first title. Him and Drake right. work together as a team, and. Uh, Started knocking off other people. Yeah, we got a deep sleeper on Ace Real Armani right sleeper. here. Check him. Dagger's been, like I said, since the first show, but he's One. never been in a six pack challenge, so this would be a great opportunity for him to That's get in. That's two. Can you do it? Oh. Oh, he oh. picked that up. Good job. Good job, Ace. Got to give him some credit there. I thought it was over again. Baggart's got an extensive mat game. Uh, this, is where he, this is how he's won most of his championships here. Elbows. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's new flying forearm. Nice forearm by Backyard right there. Backyard's won more championships than anybody in WWE, believe it or not. Trying to figure out what they're going to do. They're going to... This match has been pretty good so far. Yeah. I don't know if back there plans. Oh, he might be going uh -oh. for his essence stealers or a tombstone. Not uh -oh. sure. How's it oh, tombstone. There it goes, right there. Damn. Got One, this. two, three. And we got another member, another WMW wrestler going to that six-pack challenge. So we know it's going to be Humberto, Aaron Douglas, assuming he can hold the title, and then backyard. We'll find out if it's going to be Bouncer or Dave Dawson a little later on. Good backyard. job, good job, backyard. Win it, get a big one on the 4th of July. 4th of July, Scars and Stripes, Slam Dependence Day. That's on the 4th of July, we don't know. The Fuck. decimation of independence. Well, good job, backyard. Backyard gets a chance of redemption to get his heavyweight title back.